In this series of videos, we're going to be demonstrating laser capture microdissection using slides that we generated from the cryosectioning technique that we tried in our last series of videos. The laser capture microdissection system is capable of dissecting small quantities of tissue, which can then be used for downstream applications such as RNA extraction for qPCR or metabolite profiling from a very small number of cells. All right, so once you gain access to the room, to the right of the actual microscope are these three boxes. Now the first controls the actual microscope, the stage, and the laser, and you turn that on first using this key to the on position. The second box is the laser power control, which you turn on with the, the key over there, and then this controls the filters. That's turned on with a toggle switch. Now when you first turn on the laser power, you're going to have a, red, a green light to the right of the laser on off red button. After this has been lit for a few minutes, you can then hold that down and it will turn red. The red means the laser is powered on and ready to go. Now this box here is for fluorescent microscopy. If one of your fluorophores that you're looking to cut out of the cells lights up, you would turn this, this uh, excite light on. Down below the microscope, you're going to want to turn on the computer. And when that's started, you can log in using your special personal login. Now the microscope itself rests on an air table for stability. It's equipped with a mechanical stage that's computer controlled, a cap holder, which is what we put our samples into, which the laser shoots up into. The stage is controlled by this joystick here. And in the back you can see the actual microbeam, which is a UV laser specially attached to this system, and that does the cutting. For imaging, we'll be using this transmitted light, which you should turn on before you start. You start the Palm Robo system. The microscope will initialize and the objective will lower. And then it will lower again for the stage to move. With the stage in this position, you'll then have access to these clips, which hold on to the slides. Three slides can be mounted on the stage at a time. We keep our slides on ice from our cryosectioning from the day before or a few hours before, preferably to keep any metabolites in their natural state as possible. And they could be mounted like this. So the special tubes that we use for this procedure are adhesive cap tubes from Zeiss. You could either order them to have opaque lids, which make them hard to see through, or clear lids, which is what I'm going to use for this demonstration. Either are fine. But what's nice is that you can see there's actually kind of a sticky gel on the inside coating of the cap that allows whatever tissue that you're launching up to stick to it. So all you have to do to, to load it is we have our cap holder here. You fit the cap in and then you twist this out of the way and it holds on with that little hook. Now down below is our palm stage control, and you either hold the red buttons down quickly or for a long period of time to either load it or set a reference. We're going to hold the red button on the right down for a long period in order to load. So what that does is it moves this, the, ca the cap over the actual uh, cells that we're looking at. Now if this is an opaque cap, you wouldn't be able to see through it. So that's why we're using clear for this demonstration. Once you've done your launching, you hold the red button down on the right again, and it moves it out of place. 